Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be walking you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on an HP Pavilion 15. If you're not sure what model this is, go ahead and take a look at the back of your laptop at the very fine print. You should be able to identify it says HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop Model 15-EC1010NR. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I like to do is to, hopefully there's still battery in it, can demonstrate the LCD screen, how bad the LCD screen is. As you can see that the lines are running across from left to right. And any display, it's kind of flashing on the LCD, but I do not see much of a display. So trust me, the LCD scene is uh, the LCD screen is really bad. There you go. Um, I have power to the LCD, and you can see that the LCD is really bad. So let's go ahead and press and hold the power button. We are turning off the laptop. The laptop is off. The next step is to go ahead and pry open the bezel. All right. So the bezel is actually double-sided adhesive on it. So I'm using the metal prying tool kind of cutting the bezel at the same time trying to uh, pry it open if you're not sure where to buy the LCD from or the tools for this repair uh, please go ahead and check the link down in the description below. What I'll do is I'll link them uh, and direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen as well as the tool for this repair. All right, so as you can see, I'm cutting through the adhesive. It is taping down really tight onto the bezel. Uh, you gotta use a kind of a metal prying tool to work against that that double-sided tape on that thing all right I believe I have a good uh, cut on the bezel so let me go ahead and start working on the front camera with the uh, webcam here just be careful try not to stick it too deep you do not want to damage the webcam the same time you want to be able to cut it so that you can separate the bezel away from the screen all right so far I have a good sign I was be able to separate them in a way All right, there you have it. The entire bezel just comes off and uh, we might have to come back here and do a little bit cleaning. And if the bezel is not sticky for you to re-put it back again, what I suggest you to do is to go ahead and get yourself a two millimeter. This is a two mm double-sided adhesive tape. You can re-tape it around the bezel and then tape it all back together. But of course you need to come back and clean off the gunk before you tip it in okay so the next step as you can see the LCD is adhesive down to the front of the top case because the, there's no screw or anything holding down to the LCD screen so it's actually uh, taping it down what we need to do is to untape the LCD to remove it um, 
usually they do come with what I call the uh, a little tape a black tape where you can pull to remove that thing so you can see it's really hard to see but you can pay a close attention to it I think this is the little cable right here the little black gooey stuff okay oh no it just broke let me try to be very careful do not break that that little black double gooey tape okay all right so that's the one keep pulling keep pulling okay so that that tape right there is pretty much the one that is holding down the LCD screen so it's on the top left corner and the top right corner oh no it broke again okay I got it out so there are two of them two little sticky stuff once you got it out now your LCD screen would just slide down towards your body okay so let it let it down the next step is to go ahead and separate that little tip here and the same time slide that connector away from your body so this is a 30 pin connector and here comes the LCD screen if you're not sure where to buy them look up for this one it says N156HCA-EAB that is the model for the LCD screen um, again I'll link them down in the description below direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement part here comes the replacement screen I believe they are compatible oops I believe they are compatible because uh, it's like different in terms of the uh, the model here this one it says LM156 LFBL I'm gonna try it out and see if it powers on okay slide it back in tip it down realign the screen like so I'm not going to tape it down first because I still got to kind of clean the screen up a little bit let's turn it on and see if I get any display there you go I can see an HP booting up nice and clear So this is a definitely a, a success. Now the rest of the thing I need to do is to re-glue the LCD screen back together. So let me push the screen off the camera a little bit just in case if a, a customer's picture is, is, is on the background and just want to be off the camera. Oh, it is. I can see the whole background so let me go ahead and shut it down and okay very good so the next step I like to do is to tape it down I'll be using a bigger tape here so this is a lot wider I believe this is a five millimeter and what I like to do is to re-tape it 
down on the top of the top cover or you can tape it on the LCD whichever way you like it I'll be taping it down here slightly over on the top slightly over at the bottom getting my scissors sorry so what I like to do is I like to tape it slightly over the screen as you can see that I went over off a little bit and here as well on the top the reason is because so that the next person who tried to replace the screen if if they broke the screen again we know where to find that little tape right so we know where to look for the tape and to uh, to to remove them that's the reason why I went slightly over okay okay so now here's the fun part I just have to realign them match it more or less right about here kind of press it down a little bit I can always come back to clean the screen up a little bit after when it's done just to push everything back in make sure everything is good all right so the screen is installed just as simple as that just a two-sided tape now the important part is the bezel um, again the bezel if you see a lot of residue come and clean it up but for my case I think I'm happy with that I'm not going to clean it I'm just going to tape some of this this is a two millimeter have some room on the side here so you don't have to really stick it so well because the bezel has a little clipper and those clipper would clip onto the the screen I mean onto the computer but if you want to really seal that little gap then you can uh, clean it off and use a three millimeter I believe that would be a better choice okay we have the tape on the bezel let's go ahead and remove the tape hey if you're following my video so far and able to uh, you know get the screen to show the display great you're almost done we are kind of like 80% done I would say 90% done so you're doing a good job if you do find this video is helpful please uh, smash the like button for me I really appreciate I'm just um, showing you and helping you how to change the screen and comment below and let me know if if you were able to change the screen by following my video uh, that really helps me uh, makes me happy you know to motivates me to make me more of this repair video for yourself for you oh the uh, webcam is kind of dirty oh well let's see I just got to close it up again they're kind of like clipper so we just have to just press it down and clip it you can hear that little snap snappy sound 
which is normal. Okay, press it down. So what you like to do is, you see my left hand is supporting the back of the screen while I'm pressing down the bezel because you do not want to keep pressing it and make a crack to that new screen, okay? So there you have it, my LCD screen is replaced, looks good, and voila! Okay, the battery is dead. So anyway, uh, that's the entire process. If you do find this video is helpful, please smash the like button for me, please. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And um, if you're not sure where to buy the screen from, go check out the link down in the description below. I will link you to either Amazon or eBay for these uh, replacement parts, screen, and the tools. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.